Hey, I'm Gene Goldman. Here's a look at the week ahead for the week of March 11th. Well, this week's topic is inflation. We get two major inflation reports this week. On Tuesday, we get CPI, or the Consumer Price Index. And then on Thursday, we get PPI, or the Producer Price Index. Before I discuss these reports, let's take a step back and discuss where inflation has been trending. As a reminder, the Fed has been fighting inflation by raising and keeping interest rates high. In theory, higher rates slow spending, which in turn slows inflation. So coming into 2024, anticipating that inflation was slowing and worries about high rates on the economy, the Fed said they would cut rates by three times before the end of 2024. All looked good, but then a month ago, both CPI and PPI came in above expectations. So questions arose, will the Fed still cut rates? So turning to this week, the consensus expects year-over-year CPI on Tuesday to be flat with last month at 3.1%. For PPI on Thursday, it's expected to rise just a little bit to 1.1% year-over-year. In my opinion, I think both reports will prove to be lower than expected for three reasons. Number one, you look at the red circle here. We saw an unexpected surge in owner's equivalent rent last month. This doesn't make sense because asking rents for new properties are declining and rent of primary residence, that lighter blue bar, is also slowing down. Keep in mind, if you exclude owner's equivalent rent from CPI, CPI is only up 1.5% year over year. The second reason is that we saw in January an aberration in some data points. As you see here, prices for hospital outpatient care surged, and this is the majority of the strength in last month's PPI report. But if you look at the red arrows, this occurs every January. It's seasonality. This surge occurs every single January. And the third reason why we expect inflation to be a little bit lower than expected, look at these red circles here. This is the prices paid component for both manufacturing and services PMI. And as a reminder, these reports are the first look at last month's economy. Both declined last month. So you take these three points together, we feel the reports this week on inflation will show inflation slowed more than expected. Anyways, the key takeaway this week, coming into 2024, everyone, the market expected the Fed will cut rates. Strength in the January inflation reports really worried the markets. We do expect January to prove to be an aberration, and reports this week should show inflation slowing again, and this will provide more evidence that the Fed can and will cut rates this year. Thanks for listening. For more information, please follow us on Twitter at Satara IM. See you next week, and thank you so much. <music>